What is up, everybody, and welcome to the Financial Wolf channel. So it is that time of the month again, guys. Today, I'm going to reveal my phone flipping profits for the month of October. If you guys do not know, I make a video like this every single month where I reveal my phone flipping profits for the prior month. And before we get into today's video, I just want to mention that we recently hit 250 subscribers on the channel, and I did mention that I would do some sort of giveaway or some sort of conference call giveaway when I hit 250 subs, just to thank you guys. So of course, I'm going to fulfill my promise and do a giveaway for you guys at 250 subscribers. So all you need to do to enter the giveaway is of course, smash that like button and make sure you are subscribed to the Financial Wolf channel, and then go Go ahead and leave a comment down below and just let me know that you're subscribed or just leave any comment and you'll automatically be entered into the giveaway and you guys will have a chance to win a $25 gift card and a 30 minute conference call with yours truly. So how this giveaway is going to work is I'm just going to scroll through the comments and pick someone random. Whoever I land on wins the $25 gift card and a 30-minute conference call with me. And then I'm going to go ahead and scroll through a second time, and I am just going to pick a second-place winner. The first-place winner for this contest is going to win a $25 Amazon gift card and a 30-minute conference call with me. The second-place winner is going to win a 30-minute conference call with me. I'll just message you guys back on YouTube comments and let you guys know if you ended up winning. If you guys that end up winning don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and post the conference call on my YouTube channel, The Financial Wolf, because I want everyone to benefit from the value I expressed in the call. If you guys do not want it posted on YouTube, it doesn't matter, whatever you guys want to end up doing. And guys, finally, I just want to let you know that the winner for this contest will be picked 72 hours after this video is uploaded. So three days after this video is uploaded, the two winners will receive messages from me in the YouTube comments that they ended up winning. Okay guys, with that all being said, let's get into the main topic of today's video. During the month of October, I did about $4,900 in sales, and I kept between a 25 and 35% margin on all of my flips. October was the first month I actually ended up picking up the iPhone XS. In September, I didn't end up getting any of the new iPhones that have been released. All of the iPhone XS's that I've picked up so far have been brand new in the box and financed with their carrier. So people are pretty much just financing the device with their carrier that they're using and then they're selling them for the short term profit and they're taking that credit hit that's going to affect them over the long term. And us as phone flippers will buy these finance devices at low prices and then sell them for a little bit more money. So we'll make the profit and we won't have to take that credit hit. I got both of the finance sealed iPhone X in the month of October for a price of $600 and I ended up flipping them for a price of $799.99 on eBay and after fees and shipping I made about $80 on both of these devices. During the month of October I did end up picking up two of the new iPhones both of them being the iPhone XS's. I haven't picked up any of the iPhone XS Max's yet. I've had some opportunities but the margin just wasn't there with these new phones it is sometimes difficult to get them at a lower price because people still know the true value of these devices. And I am actually going to go ahead and pick up some iPhone XRs today, brand new, sealed in the box, and financed. My margins were definitely affected in the month of October because I bought these newer iPhones. They accounted for quite a bit of my revenue and I didn't make as much on these phones as I would have if I bought three $200 phones instead of buying just one $600 phone. If you guys are just getting started with phone flipping, I don't recommend that you go for the super expensive iPhones, the iPhone Xs, the iPhone Xs, and the iPhone Xs Maxes because you should just be sticking with the iPhone 6s, 7s, and 8s. Don't really worry about the iPhone X's yet because the margins on these devices aren't as high and you should invest your money in iPhone 6's, 7's, and 8's because the margins are much better and you'll be making more from the money you're investing. It's much easier to double your money if you're dealing with the iPhone 7's 
eights, and sixes, because you can buy, for example, an iPhone 7 for $150 and flip it for $300 locally or on eBay, but if you're buying an iPhone X, it's almost impossible to double your money on a flip like that. To double your money on an iPhone X flip, you'd have to offer someone like $300 for their iPhone X, and there's no way someone would accept that offer. If they were really that dumb, it would be an amazing deal for you, but deals like that don't come around that often, and that is why I say if you're first getting started out with phone flipping, it's much easier to double your money with the lower end phone models, and that's why I think you should stick your money in these phones, and don't worry about the higher end models. So going forward with phone flipping, I can really see my revenue growing tremendously over the next couple of months. I know I'll probably double or triple my revenue over the next six to eight months. I really see that happening because I'm starting to buy these higher end phone models. During the month of September and August, I really focused on increasing my profit margin and making the most of the money I'm investing. I'm kind of switching that up now because I'm starting to buy these really expensive phones and now I actually have the capital to buy these phones and not really have to worry as much about running low on money. Other than the fact that I've been taking a lower profit margin on most of the phones I've been buying because I'm buying more expensive phones, my phone flipping style hasn't really changed in the month of August than how it was in the month of September. I've really pretty much stayed the same. I've made a ton of mistakes in phone flipping and I've really learned from them, so I haven't really lost a lot of money in the recent months. In phone flipping, there's only so many mistakes that you can make. After you learn from these lessons and mistakes that you've made in the past and learning from other people's mistakes, your business really begins to take off because it really helps you build your confidence when you begin to have success in this industry and you pretty much know what you're doing at all times. Of course, there are still some things in regards to phone flipping that I am not as familiar with. Right now, I'm learning how to establish connections with both private sellers and private buyers. Right now, I am looking for private buyers, and I'm also establishing some connections with people that will sell me finance phones. And I've been watching a lot of Smooth Flippers and Kishas Ronnie's videos to help me get on that next level when it comes to phone flipping because I've had some success, but I'm really looking to expand my business. And these individuals have really had success in this industry, and I'm looking to follow in their footsteps. With that all being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of it. It was a little bit more of an update, but my phone flipping style didn't really change from the month of September to the month of October, with the exception of my profit margin decline because I've been buying more expensive phones. And guys, I'm going to start getting a lot more active here on YouTube. I'm going to start uploading a video like every three days. I hope I can achieve that. I've been extremely busy with school and phone flipping, but I'm going to have to find the time to upload more videos for you guys because it's been so much fun and I love all the comments I get and I love responding to all of you guys. So I'm going to try and be a lot more active here on YouTube uploading every three days. With that all being said, again guys, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to be in the first 500 subscribers to my YouTube channel.